Hey, good morning, brother. I'm out on um, a, a morning walk. It's the 2nd of September. It's uh, it's feeling a little autumnal today. It's still quite beautiful. Um, it's going to be just in the high 70s today. We just got done kind of experiencing a massive amount of rainfall from Hurricane Ida that was coming through. And um, it's nice to be on the other side of that rain with clear skies all day and bright sunshine. And I, I know, is this a refreshment in the air today from the coolness, from the sun, from all this beauty around me over here that you could see this, these cornfields. Um, this trail I'm walking along is actually next to the world's largest unnavigable river. That's the Susquehanna River that runs from both New York and Pennsylvania down into the Chesapeake Bay. And so I don't know if you could see that behind me. It kind of looks kind of Amazon-like to me. Not Amazon the company, but Amazon River. Um, the reason it's called an unnavigable river is because there's no way to get in a boat at one tip and go all the way to the Chesapeake Bay by boat. It's unnavigable because there's a series of dams or obstacles that really kind of prevent navigating by boat. And so it can be a little bit misleading because it makes it sound like the river is impossible to navigate, but it's not, right? If I got a kayak out right now and dropped in there, it would actually be a pretty fun ride. And it, it's very worthwhile to do that. Uh, it's a beautiful river. There's an epic scenery. Uh, it's quite entertaining in areas. It goes through some neat territory. It goes through some not so neat territory. It goes through some kind of I don't know, dark areas um, through one part of the state where it's just, I don't know, it's a, it's a certain culture there that feels kind of dark and depressed, um, kind of like, I, I guess I would call it truck stop culture, like a lot of just seedy looking adult places and whatnot. But you know, it's pretty beautiful most of the way there. And uh, you know, I was thinking about this this morning, because we talk about women and water and how, you know, women are the river and we're the river bank. And I was giving some thought to how often, actually for most of my marriage, I believe the woman I was married to was unnavigable because I kind of had this idea that if I couldn't travel there kind of easily and seamlessly by craft, um, it just wasn't possible. And you know, I really wish someone had told me back then that that river of my wife was very similar to this river, right? There was actually a lot of very navigable places. It's just that there were gonna be a few places I needed to know how to portage, right? That's when you take your craft out of the, out of the water and you go around the obstacle. And that obstacle, um, you know, interestingly enough, were largely ones of my own creation. But I think in marriage, it's pretty common just to have seasons where we just can't navigate. And that's okay, right? We have to drop this idea that it's supposed to be super easy, that you should basically be able to plop a, plop a raft in the river of the feminine and just float your way down like your Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer, just kind of like, you know, lazing down the Mississippi. That's just not how marriage is. Marriage is very much like this river. Sometimes, if you can see it right now, the color, it's like a, it looks like a iced coffee brown because of the amount of rain. So the water is stirred up. It's fast moving. I wouldn't want to get in there right now. Um, it could be deceptive in some areas. The current can be stronger than you think. It's probably hell a lot colder than you think. It can have uh, obstacles in there that you can't see. For example, when I did scuba diving training a number of years ago, I did it in this river. And there's these old like log cribs and things submerged in there with some big ass fish lurking. But just, you know, really easy to get yourself in a bad way, but very worthwhile to be there, right? This is a beautiful river. So we don't have to just give up on the concept of navigating the river at all just because the sum total 
can't be navigated easily. So this is what I want to leave you with. Just do you see your river? Do you see the river of your life this way? Are you characterizing the whole experience by just those few things that you're going to portage around? Right? Are you are you bailing out in your mind because it's challenging and difficult? Because challenge and difficulty is just part of the masculine experience, and it's actually the best part, I would say, because even though it's hard, it's ultimately making us better rivermen, right? We're better, we're better navigators, we're better sailors, whatever, pick your metaphor, you get it. So, I'm just encouraged by that. I feel like I portaged around the most difficult parts of my marriage, and now it's actually been the easiest. But you know, it took 20 years of floating down and encountering those obstacles and really getting over myself and getting over my need for it to be easy and getting over the story I had in my head that it was unnavigable. And I'll tell you what, since I've done that, it's been really good. And I'm confident that yours will be too. So here's what I want you to do. If you're feeling stalled, basically, like you've pulled your raft or kayak over to the side of the river, you folded your arms in protest, and you're saying, I'm done. I'm not going on another foot down this river because somewhere on it, it's unnavigable. I want you to reach out because there's no reason to stop your journey just because there's a challenge. I help men basically portage all the time. I help them get around these unnavigable obstacles so they can return to navigating on the river, enjoying the feminine experience, enjoying their part in it, and enjoying the ride. So if that's you, I want you to click on the button at the end of this video if there is one. If not, go to www.svenmasterson.com. You'll look in the menus, you'll see how you can connect with me, fill out a form for free session. I won't try to sell you anything. I'll just talk to you about your unnavigable challenges and uh, we'll build a relationship with one another. You'll feel deeply loved. You'll feel deep connection and I'll feel delight for having gotten to know you. All right. I look forward to seeing you on the other side of this screen and take care.